Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this random quote generator to your blogger website. So this is how it works. We can see that we have a quote displayed over here and we also have this author. And if I refresh this page, we can see we have a new quote displayed over here and we also have the author displayed over here. And we also have this new quote button and if I click on that, we have a new quote displayed over here. So this is how it works. Now if you want to learn how to create this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I have created videos on that. You can go ahead and watch them. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So let's get started. All right, this is the blogger website where we're going to add the random code generator. So let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website. And here we can see in the theme, I have used this theme called Notable Light. And it is a theme that comes by default with blogger. So if you scroll down, here we can see the Notable Light theme. So I'm using this theme right here. Now we will add the random code generator inside a page. You can also add it inside a post, but I'll just create a page. So let's go to pages and uh, let's create a new page. And here in the title, I'll just type random code generator. And here, first of all, you have to make sure that you are in the HTML view. So if I click on this button, we can see there are two views over here. By default, it will be in the compose view. So you have to go over here to this button and click on HTML view because we're going to add HTML, CSS and JavaScript to this uh, page. So I'll just delete this from here and uh, let's add the HTML first. So let's go to the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. All right, let's copy everything inside the body. So I'll just copy everything from here till here. And uh, let's go back to our page and I'll just paste it over here. So that's it with our HTML. Now let's add the JavaScript. So I'll just create a script tag over here. And here in the script tag, I will add the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and I'll just copy everything from here and let's paste it over here. So that's it with the HTML and the JavaScript. Now let's add the CSS. So here I'll just create a style tag and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style.css file and I'll just copy everything from this line of code because we don't want to change the styles of the body inside the page. So I'll just copy everything from here till the end and uh, let's paste it inside the style tag. Right now let's publish this and let's see whether it works all right. Let's click on confirm and let's click on view page. And here we can see our random code generator is being displayed and we need to make some changes in the CSS, but it is working all right. If we click on this new code button, we can see that a new code is being displayed over here. So everything is working all right. And even if you refresh this page, we can see a new code is being displayed over here. Now let's make some changes to the CSS. First of all, we will just remove this sidebar from here. So let's right click over here and let's click on inspect. And if you scroll up, we can see that uh, this is a division with a class of post sidebar. So we can just add a display of none. So I just type display none. And now we can see that the sidebar is not being displayed. Now here we can see on the right we have a lot of padding. So let's click on the post body. I think we have the padding inside the post body container. So here we can see we have a padding right of 290 pixels. And if I just set it to zero pixels, then we can see that everything works all right. So let's add these two things to our CSS. So I'll just copy this selector from here. And let's go back to our page and uh, let's add the selector over here. And here I'll just type padding right and we'll set it to zero. And uh, if you go back to our inspector, here we can see for the post sidebar, we have this selector. So I'll just copy this from here and let's paste it over here. And here I'll just type display of none. And let's click on update. And let's refresh this page. And here we can see that the styles are being applied. Now the last thing we need to change is this new quote button. Now this button should not be fixed over here at the bottom. We will change the position to absolute so that it will be positioned relative to this uh, container. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And here we can see the new quote button. And here I'll just set the position to absolute. And I'll just remove this bottom position from here. Now here we can see we have this new quote button displayed over here. We can also add a margin top. So let's 
type margin top and I'll just set it to 40 pixels and that looks alright so let's go back to our page and let's make changes to the CSS so let's scroll down and let's go to the button and here I'll just change the position to absolute and we'll just remove this bottom position from here and we will add a margin top of 40 pixels and let's click on update and let's go back to our web page and let's refresh this page and we can see that everything works alright but uh, when we load the code we don't have the correct width for this button so we will set a minimum width for this button so it will always have at least that amount of width so let's go back and I'll just set a min width of 200 pixels and let's click on update now let's go back and let's refresh this page and now we don't have any problems in our code generator so everything works alright so that's basically how you add a random code generator to your blogger website now if you want to learn how to create this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript I have videos on that you can go ahead and check them out in the description of this video so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.